Well, what's going on, guys? I am in Les Ladakh for 12 more days. Well, 12 total days, 11 more. And today I'm riding my favorite, my absolute number one favorite Indian made motorcycle, Royal Enfield Himalayan. Of course I'll be riding this because this beast is designed for the Himalayan mountains. And that's where I am right now. A fair bit of traffic here this morning. But it's off tourist season. So all these people are most likely locals. That's how you do it. In India, there is no give way. It's just basically you take way and then the other person has to stop. And if that other person doesn't stop, well then bad luck. It probably won't be too nice. Phenomena, phenomena, worldwide original star, indie. Yeah, sorry, I'm listening to music while I'm riding the Royal Enfield Himalayan in this amazing fucking terrain. Ladakh, the king of Himalayan mountains. And I'm here right now, all three things combined. Music, Royal Enfield Himalayan, and the best motorcycle riding terrain in the world. So you can imagine how I feel right now. Pretty damn happy. So happy that I've even forgotten about my hernia pain. And I'm feeling good. And you know what, although this morning I got out of bed and I was in a lot of pain and I was telling you guys, I said, oh look, I don't know if I'll be able to do this tour, this motorcycle trip. But I was still going to push myself and do it anyway. But in pushing myself, I have now gotten rid of the pain, the hernia pain. It's all in the head. Basically, if you worry about things, then bad things will happen. If you don't worry, then nothing bad happens. Unless you're really unlucky, then I guess that could happen. Woo! Look at that man! Look at the mountains in front of me! That is epic! And even though it's cold and there's a lot of wind, the warmth of the sun negates that. And you feel pretty decent. I'm not feeling that cold. I do have thermal pants underneath my normal pants and I'm wearing three layers of um, of jacket. I'm wearing actually a long sleeve t-shirt, a cotton hooded jumper, and a um, wind resistant waterproof Gore-Tex jacket over the top. Anyway, so there's a few things I've got to let you guys know. So I upgraded all my camera gear. I've got the same DSLR because it's basically one of the latest, so it's really good quality anyway. But I actually bought a GoPro 4 um, just about two weeks before the GoPro 5 came out. And that was a shame because I actually paid more for the GoPro 4 and then once the 5 came out, it's it has been priced cheaper than the 4, which was really weird. I also got a drone and brought it here. Um, they don't really mind too much because obviously a consumer drone is much different looking to what a military drone would be like. So although there's a lot of fear about bringing drones here and getting in trouble, the law, sa the law states that you're allowed to use a drone here if you get permission from in, in very uh, uh, isolated areas from local authorities and in larger cities you have to get it from the um, the district of civil uh, what is it district aviation authority but around here because it's such a an isolated place um, I'll just get permission from yeah, I'll just get permission from the local police station wow man fucking good good riding bro fuck <laughs> it didn't even look. You know, the other thing you got to be uh, mindful of is that when you do operate a drone around here, obviously stay away from military bases and any place where aircraft are used. But yeah, a disclaimer, I don't take any responsibility for what you do with this advice. This is just what I've been following 
and what it says on various websites and on the official Indian Aviation Authority website regarding the use of drones. But yeah, so I just left Leh. I came through Choglemsa, which is another town just past Leh, on the way to Tixi Monastery. And this is one of my favourite roads. It's just so fun, man. Like you'll see, right now there's a lot of people standing around here because this is where they live, but once I get into the isolated areas, you'll see just how amazing this place is. But before I hit up the Tixi Monastery, I'm gonna go to this place where I ate some Maggie noodles last time. Not last time I was here, and the lady makes some damn good Maggie noodles. She puts all kinds of like masala and like onion and chops up a few other veggies and chucks them in there. So it's not like just plain Maggie noodles, it's like really nice Maggie noodles. I want to overtake this truck, but I mean this bus, but not on a blind corner, like no way. Jeez. One thing that you'll really notice if you look at my old videos about Ladakh and the ones now, three months ago when I was here, all the trees were green. And now because it's basically autumn, coming up to winter, all the leaves are getting brown and orangish in color and they're starting to fall. Eventually they're all gonna turn out like the trees right there. The, um, like just skeletons with no leaves on them. But you know what, even this is beautiful. In fact, I think this looks even better than the green trees. That's one thing that I really wanted to let you guys know. So my original plan of coming to Leh Ladakh was that I was gonna start off here riding um, from Leh all the way to Manali, 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 and then from there I was gonna ride to Kishtwar via Pangi Road, which is apparently the number one most dangerous road in the world. But sadly, the problem is, although the road from there to Manali is still open as of the end of October, it can close any time without warning due to the weather. So if I take this motorcycle on the other side and then it snows over and there's no way for me to get back, then I'm sorry to say for poor Tundup's motorcycle, it's going to have to get dumped on the other side somewhere. And I don't think he would be happy. And in that case, I'd probably have to pay him for the, um, the cost of the motorcycle, which is a fair bit. You know what's really weird? My hernia hurts when I'm sitting down or lying down or standing. But when I'm sitting down on a motorcycle, I don't know, I just don't feel any pain. It's like my, my balls were made to ride motorbikes. That's the design of them. Massive disadvantage when I'm not on a motorbike, but when I am, man, I'm loving life. Oh, God. So my balls do hurt, my hernia does hurt when I smash into like a bump unexpectedly. You know, I'm not, I'm not immune. Oh, and there it is. Tixi Monastery, right up on top of that little mountain there. With that even bigger mountain behind it with the uh, snow on top. What an amazing sight. 